15 stupid pythons trying to escape Impala's horns, what happens snake fight? Python versus Impala, the largest snake in Africa, this giant python is facing the Impala family. It is one of the few reptiles capable of killing an antelope. As it waits for its prey to get closer, it decides on a strategy. Immediately after the prey was captured, the giant python rushed to attack. It first squeezed its prey with its powerful muscles before opening its enormous mouth and swallowing the impala whole. Honey Badger vs. Python The python appears to have an advantage over the honey badger until, out of the blue, a jackal enters the fight in an attempt to score a quick, easy snack. Desperate to put an end to the fight before losing his prey and dealing with a new challenger, the python attacks the honey badger aggressively in an attempt to break its will to fight on the Jekyll circles. The snake was completely outclassed and outmatched at this point despite his desperate lunges and great power. The fight was waiting for the right moment to strike when suddenly the python's strength was enough and the badger broke free. The python may be filled with regret as he finds himself in a two-to-one fight and wonders if he took on more than he bargained for. But if he thought that was too much, he was shocked when it became a three. Python vs. Cobra, which this King Cobra had to remind himself of. At first glance, it might seem like the snake has the upper hand, choking him and cutting off his air supply, but as the camera pans over, it becomes apparent that the snake is actually fighting for its life. You can see that the cobra has sunk its mighty fangs into the snake's throat and is pumping him full of venom. It's only a matter of time before the snake must face the rogue snake. Towards the end of the video, it is evident that the python has released the cobra in an effort to survive, but all he seems to be able to do is ride around in agony. Unfortunately, the video ends before the whole aftermath, but we can only speculate as to how the python must have felt after being injected with cobra venom. Crocodile attack python. The crocodile's thick coating prevented the python from penetrating it when it charged at it. The crocodile bit the snake into its mouth while shaking its head constantly, causing the snake to struggle in agonizing pain. Fortunately, the snake was eventually saved from the crocodile attack. The timely appearance of the hyenas caused discomfort for the hunters in the forest, especially for the python. After every battle, the python frequently had their prey immediately taken by the hyenas. Python versus another snake. Pythons are classified as members of the group of snakes called constrictors. These predators apply pressure that prevents their prey from breathing, and when the prey exhales, the constrictor tightens its coils to fill the space left behind, eventually causing the prey to die from suffocation. Because the python can feel its prey's heartbeat, it waits until it stops before uncoiling to start eating. A python attempts to constrict a king cobra, but it fails miserably. The king cobra is not the victim in this fight, it's the predator. The black snake passes lethal doses of venom into the constrictor pythons and hinge their jaws to swallow larger prey, typically beginning with the head to optimize the amount of space available in the mouth. The joints in the skull can bend and fold, and the skin is exceedingly flexible, enabling the animal's ability to absorb vast amounts of food without trouble in the end. A king cobra assesses the world's longest snake, the reticulated python, and the snake predator stares at the enormous beast in its presence. It determines that this is not the war it wants to start. Pythons can swallow rodents, birds, lizards, and even mammals such as monkeys, wallabies, pigs, and antelope, depending on the size of the snake. While pythons are not snake eaters, they are preyed upon by semi-cannibals such as king cobras. The python fights valiantly and wraps its mass around its adversary as the king cobra bites on more than it can chew. The two snakes duke it out in a battle of constriction versus venom. Python versus Leopard. A python's approach to its prey is significantly less messy than the feeding habits of a pride of lions, for example, because snakes can reduce the strain placed on their prey and the risk of injury to themselves. Taking on a powerhouse like a Leopard will not be easy. In contrast to their close relatives, the two predators struggle to gain the upper hand in the fight, with a Leopard flinging lethal claws at the reptile and the python unable to lock in a constriction coil. And layers are bow pythons. A few pythons, they may be placed in very shallow nests. While some will cover them with leaves and soil, most python moms keep their coils around their eggs to protect them while they develop. If the temperature drops too low, several species mothers will shiver to warm their eggs. A python and a limpart engage in a process known as thermogenesis. Clash on the brink of a river, the python first maintains its ground, but the limpart quickly takes it. It out, while pythons are known to swallow massive prey, they rarely assault huge cats. The reason for this is that large cats are incredibly agile, responding quickly, and pythons are unlikely to catch them as opportunistic predators. Leopards have been observed actively chasing down pythons. When a python is at the mercy of a voracious leopard, the leopard strikes the snake with keen claws. 
The snake retaliates with strikes of its own, but the cat is quick and agile, escaping every attack. Snakes eating squirrels. A yellow rat snake attacks a relatively large squirrel. Rat snakes are non-venomous, which means they rely on biting and constricting to take down their prey. The yellow rat snake must have been frustrated and decides to attack a squirrel, almost as big as itself. With the snake's coils wrapped tightly around the squirrel, you can bet the snake will have a hearty meal level satisfied. Rat snakes with huge appetites, a greedy voracious one, successfully catches a red squirrel. Contrary to common opinion, snakes do not unhinge their jaws because they do not have fused chiners. Instead of having dislocated jaws, they have flexible skulls and stretchy ligaments that keep their mouths in place. The stretchiness of the ligaments determines the outcome. Regardless of how wide their mouths open, this rat snake's ligaments had better be able to stretch as far as the squirrel's sides. When a yellow rat snake catches a red squirrel and kills it by constriction, you might think the hardest part of the hunt is over, but you'd be wrong. Now the yellow rat snake is faced with the difficult task of ingesting its large, hard-earned meal. Python versus Porcupine The struggle between the python and the porcupine is currently in progress. The porcupine attacks so fiercely that the python has no chance of survival. The python tries to attack the porcupine, and this is the damage he had to receive. It is so pitiful that the python still wants to challenge this porcupine again and again. The night has passed and the porcupines are out looking for food. Today, one of them comes across a deadly snake. The two animals approach and examine each other, and this time the porcupine attacks first and he wins, continuing to be a dumb venomous snake. He wants to approach the next porcupine, but the venomous snake had to flee because the porcupine is far too hazardous an animal. Snake versus Lizard Fight Everything is tranquil for a short time until the reptile corporation appears from nowhere and attacks a small salamander with agility and courage. The salamander escapes. These assassins have finally caught their victim. These snakes have little venom, but when they catch their prey, they will wrap around their prey until the prey is smothered. Was it successful? Once more failing, these another poor victim faces death as the snake's venom penetrates the body, rendering the prey powerless to resist lying down. Nature is usually ruthless and merciless to the weak, who are always devoured motionless by a predator. Dangerous snowstorm wrapped in golden civet skull trying to struggle, but this cold-blooded assassin didn't allow it a chance to survive at all. Its destiny, the King Cobra, is known as the King of Snakes because of its powerful venom. A small amount of venom, about 7 milliliters, can kill 10 adults in 30 minutes. This venomous snake is entwined with the lizard right on the road, waiting for the venom to soak into the prey's body, at which point it can easily swallow the victim. Snake versus deer. Once its prey has been trapped, the snake can take its time eating and deer is being devoured by this huge python. A python kills its prey by wrapping its coils around it and squeezing it until it can't breathe any longer, yet it takes time to consume its meal. The deer will be eaten head first. Since it is much easier that way, it looks like this deer went for a walk on the wrong side of town, but it was lucky enough to be saved by a kind man that decided to hit the snake with a tree branch so the deer could escape snake venom is potent. And you can see what I mean in this video after a venomous snake strikes an unsuspecting deer. Even though the deer gets away, it's only a matter of time before it crumbles to the ground and dies. So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.